Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly, so I thought I'd make a quick video explaining the principle of how a DPF works because I seem to get the same comment almost every time I put a video on where people say what is the point of having a diesel particulate filter on a car if it saves up all of the soot and then you do a forced regen or a passive regen and you just kick all of the soot back out anyway so it's kind of pointless Okay, so what I have here to sort of explain to you is a bin, or an incinerator, metal bin. Now if we pretend all of these holes are the holes in the honeycomb of the DPF filter, and that this is a DPF filter itself. So this is a particle filter you're looking at, and as you drive it, it's going to start filling up with soot. So here we are, you're driving, soot is building up. So your soot is building up, and now your DPF is full. Now normally your DPF will set off a regen and it'll burn that soot down and reduce it. So while I'm here I suppose I'll explain another thing that can happen. So if you've got an error somewhere in the engine, the the passive regen is not going to it's not going to happen. So the vehicle is not going to allow that to happen because it thinks that there's an issue with the vehicle and it's not going to allow the car to do the regen. So that DPF is now full and it's not doing its its passive regen. So what happens now is it just keeps filling up even more. Right, so now your DPF is overfilled and now to do to do a forced regeneration, if you do a forced regeneration and your DPF is this full, you're going to have too much heat in the system and you can damage the DPF. So basically you're going to have too much fuel for the fire. So say now we're going to put some cleaner in there which is going to reduce some of this right down now we've still got a partially blocked DPF but we can set now set off a force region right so a lot of diesel cars use a system like this where you have a diesel vaporizer that sprays fuel into the DPF okay we're going to pretend this blowtorch is our vaporizer <laughs> Okay, now that's burning. We're gonna chuck a little bit more soot in there. Now, as that's almost complete, let's say we're gonna do another regen. And we're gonna do another regen. And another regen. And another one. So now, if we put the lid on here, you might see some smoke. but the soot is still inside, or the paper is still inside you will get smoke and fire now your DPF is full again and it's doing another regen so this is just, I'm just trying to replicate over time and over time your car is going to do many many regens and it's going to keep, your DPF is going to keep getting full and then it's going to keep burning it back down ok now you're doing another regen again and you can see the more soot that you have in there, the hotter the temperature is going to get. And you can see that if you have too much temperature, you will end up melting your DPF and damaging it. Okay, now this time the flame is starting to struggle. We're getting some smoke. And if you look at the holes in the DPF, they're sort of getting blocked up. Which is restricting the airflow now. And it's not burning so well anymore. Oh look. That paper isn't really burning too well. You can see there we have a nice piece of cardboard and paper just over here. It's not even burned yet. Why is that? Because it's starting to get full with ash. So now after a dozen or so times of the bin being filled, we have a little bit of ash left over. Now even though the bin is almost empty, or the DPF is almost empty, it's now not lo no longer usable because all of these little holes are now blocked and it's not it's not going to be in a usable condition no more the airflow is not going to go through it as much there's going to be too much pressure not enough not enough airflow going go, going out okay so what happens if we try and clean ash out of your dpf now you can see it's reduced a little bit but you're never going to get rid of this ash solid some of the ash loose ash will come out but all of this ash solid is now going to stay there in the dpf so it will help slightly, but it's not going to bring it back to new. 
Right, so that's a very basic explanation of how a DPF works using uh, an incinerator. So, hope that helped explain things. See you in the next video. Okay, so I, if I didn't make my point across with that video, what I'm trying to explain is the soot during a fourth region or a passive region, or when I'm cleaning the DPF, it doesn't get pushed out into the atmosphere anyway, like a lot of people seem to comment. Soot will build up in the DPF, and when the DPF gets full, it will burn the soot down to, from this, say, from this big down to this, of ash. That will keep happening over time and over time. It's full, it's ash, it's full, it's ash. Then the ash will eventually, of course, build up to the point where, okay, now your DPF is trying to do a regen, but that ash is not decreasing anymore. There's too much ash in there, and that's when you're going to need a new DPF.